हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ प्रभात जंबुलकर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी जंपिंग स्टेटमेंट्स इन अपेक्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो इन अपेक्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज देयर आर टू जंपिंग स्टेटमेंट्स वन इज ब्रेक एंड अनदर इज कंटिन्यू ब्रेक एंड कंटिन्यू दैट टर्मिनेट द इनर मोस्ट लूप इफ देयर आर नेस्टेड लूप्स सो इन दैट सिचुएशन ब्रेक एंड कंटिन्यू टर्मिनेट द इनर मोस्ट लूप वेयर दे आर यूज्ड Now see, there is small difference between break and continue statement. Break statement will terminate the loop and control will come outside the loop. While continue statement will terminate that iteration only, but that loop will continue for the next iteration. That is the difference between break and continue. We will see example for this. Now look at this. We will take example of for loop, but break and continue can be used with while loop. Also, it can be used with do while loop. Now see, here we will take one variable j is equal to zero. Then j less than five, j plus plus, and here we will add one statement system dot debug. Here we will print value of j is equal to concatenation symbol plus and j. So here we are printing value of j, right? Now see if we run this code, let us see. So here see we got value of j zero, value of j one, two, three, four, right? Now see. Suppose here I am adding break statement. See, suppose here I am adding condition if j is equal to three, then break. Now see what I am doing. If j is equal to three, then I am calling statement break. So because of that, what will happen? It will terminate this loop, right? So control will come outside this loop. Now see, we'll run this code. Let us see. Debug only. Value of j is equal to zero. Value of j is equal to one. Value of j is equal to two. But we didn't get value of j is equal to three, four, right? It is because this loop got terminated here. Because of this break, this loop got terminated when j is equal to three, right? And because of that, we got output up to two only, right? Now see, instead of this break, if we use continue, now see what output we'll get. Let us see. Debug only. So see, value of j is equal to zero, value of j is equal to one, value of j is equal to two, value of j is equal to four. But there is no value of j is equal to three, right? We got this result because see, when j is equal to three, we are calling statement continue. Because of this continue statement, all other statements are skipped. For this iteration, when continue statement is executed, all these statements after this continue statements are skipped. Loop is terminated here, but it will continue for the next iteration. See, it will terminate. Current iteration, but it will continue for the next iteration. So see, when j was three, so it has terminated that current iteration. That's why we didn't get value of j is equal to three, but it has continued for the next iteration. So next iteration was j is equal to four, right? That's why we got this output value of j is equal to four. Keep in mind, whenever we are calling break or continue statement, they are terminating innermost loop. Innermost loop. See, we'll take one more example. So see. Here, suppose I am taking one more loop. Integer i is equal to zero, i less than five, i plus plus. So this closing curly bracket will take here. And instead of this continue, suppose if you use break. Now see, we'll print this value of I and value of j, so that also will add here. Now see value of i here value of i plus value of j like this. See, we'll execute this. Now see debug only. So here you can see see value of i zero value of j zero value of i zero one. Zero j is equal to two, but we didn't get j is equal to three. Why? We are terminating this loop when j is equal to three. 
right so that's why we didn't get j is equal to 3 even we didn't get j is equal to 4 because when j is equal to 3 at that time only we are calling break and because of that loop is getting terminated there right but see that i have told only innermost loop will get terminated and because of that see outer loop will get continue so see innermost loop is getting terminated when j is equal to 3 but see for i is equal to 0 i is equal to 1 i is equal to 2 i is equal to 3 i is equal to 4 for all this this loop will run now see i is equal to 3 again we have this loop i is equal to 4 we have this loop right so whenever this break statement is called it will terminate only innermost loop same case with the continue so whenever we are calling break or continuous statement they are terminating that innermost loop or loop where those statements are called so this is the use of break and continuous statement break statement will terminate current iteration and also next iteration but continuous statement will terminate current iteration but it will continue loop will continue for the next iteration that is the difference between break and continue so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you